With design tokens in Adobe XD, you can use a common set of names for colors and character styles in your designs and make them easily accessible to your developer. That way you can use simple names like primary blue or h1 header instead of having to remember hex codes and CSS attributes. Simply tag your assets in the Assets panel, and when your work is published as a design spec, the custom names carry over. I'm here in Adobe XD, and I have an artboard I've been working on. If I open up the Assets panel here on the left-hand side, what you'll see is I have a series of colors that have been extracted from the design and some character styles. What I can do to make these more reader-friendly is come in and change the default hex value to a more easy-to-understand or remember name. So if I double-click here, I can call this primary yellow. I'll do the same for green. And we'll do one more. And the same is true for character styles. Rather than using the default name that XD applies, I can put something friendlier on it. Let's say here, I'll go with H1 headline. And let's do one more for body text. Now that I have that all set, I'm ready to share it up with my developer. I'll switch over to prototype mode and make sure that I've defined the artboard for the current flow. Switch over to the share workspace and go ahead and select under view settings, development. I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I'm exporting for the web. These design tokens are web specific. And then I'll go ahead and create the link. When I click that link and come into the web browser, I can see that there are some subtle differences to the design spec interface. Here on the right-hand side, there's the commenting area where my stakeholders can add comments to my design. Below that, I've got the view specs area where I can see the specifications for an individual artboard. And below that, I have the variables panel. If I expand that out, there are all of my friendly names. So in the color section, I've got that friendly name that I defined. You've got primary background, primary black, and the hex value that was originally defined for that individual color. Notice for any of the colors that I didn't rename, XD went ahead and defined a friendly name for it automatically. So I've got unnamed color 707070, which represents the hex value. In the font area, as I scroll down, notice under character styles, I've got the friendly name for this H2 subhead. Scrolling a little bit further, I can see the H3 caption or H1 headline. If I close out this panel and go to the specs for this individual artboard and click on some text, let's say this plants text here on the left-hand side, notice in the specifications on the right, under styles, I see that friendly name for the H3 caption along with its specifications. Under appearance, the color that I'm using for that text is using the friendly name. If I were to roll over the color, I can still see its hex value. I encourage you to give design tokens a try in your next XD developer handoff.